Hi, my name is Ryan Louie, and I'm a PhD student at Northwestern University. I'd like to talk to you about a way of connecting that's very different than current social media. So when friends and family are co-located, they can easily engage in shared experiences and activities more regularly. For example, classmates can join each other at the local coffee shop to drink and study, and neighbors might bump into each other for waiting while waiting for the train and catch up. But when people are physically distant, they often have to rely on technologies like social media to connect them. And while browsing social media posts on social media feeds make it easier to keep up with each other's lives, social media hardly supports engaging in shared experiences. Users are mostly passively scrolling and viewing what's already happened in people's individual lives and experiences. Some more recent social apps like TikTok do support engaging in shared activities when users can create short videos of a shared activity that build on the creation of others. And, but even here, connecting through TikToks is not easy. Users must recognize how their situation, like having a bowl of snacks, allows participating in shared activities or challenges, like where users par are participating in a snacking on junk food while exercising challenge. So instead, let me show you a way of socially connecting that we envision that's quite a bit different. So imagine two friends living in different cities could share a virtual cheers, where one was having an evening beer in Chicago and the other a morning tea in Taiwan. And what happens in this experience is it identifies moments when people share similar situations across distance and then structure shared activities like making this half-half cheers photo in these moments. We call them opportunistic collective experiences or OCEs for short. And unlike social media, everything is a shared experience. And unlike TikTok, identifying and structuring the activity is entirely facilitated by the system. So I'd like to introduce you to these, our three contributions with OCEs. First, a set of design guidelines that help create OCEs effective for connecting. Second, Cerebro, our computational platform for interacting, building, and executing OCEs. And third, results from a study with college alumni in which we showed that OCs promoted engaging in socially connecting and shared experiences and activities. In the time we have left, I'd like to touch on each of these contributions. So let me talk about designing an OC. An OC that's designed poorly can fail to establish the interactional grounding necessary to connect. So for example, this OC has two people to take a picture of their environment where it's both raining for them. And here, this experience is unlikely to be connecting because the prompt for taking a picture is quite general. So people might not attend to the same stimuli or do similar activities, making it hard to see the similarities across their situations. Nor are they taking photos as part of an activity like contributing towards a shared goal or creating a shared artifact? In contrast, an OCE designed effectively would use people's shared situations to facilitate a more socially connecting interaction. People in this one could take similar actions across their situations to highlight the shared experience, such as looking down and stomping in a puddle. And through this half-half photo created, they are collaborating on a shared artifact that highlights the interdependence across their individual activities. So our second contribution is Cerebro, a platform consisting of three parts. First, a mobile app for users to interact in an OCE. Second, an API that helps creators in which it abstracts away some of the annoying details of monitoring user situations and coordinating participation. So these creators can write short, simple code describing the shared situations and the activities that happen. And third, we have this execution engine on the back end that handles all these execution details. So we deployed Cerebro with college alumni um, and our results showed that OCs were more connecting than posts and replies and about as connecting as direct messaging. Um, we measured this in terms of sharing similar experiences and engaging in joint activities. And second, entitivity or the sense of feeling a part of a group. Hearing what participants said about OCs are most revealing. In the first quote, they compared OCs to Snapchat and Instagram. And they said that you're not really a part of what they're posting about. They don't really have to think about you while they're posting the story, while 
In contrast, the second quote describes that for collective experiences, there's this common goal. And it really highlights how shared experiences are connecting while posts and individual um, posts and individual um, posts are really just about people feeling involved in um, their separate lives rather than feeling involved in each other's shared lives. So I'd like to conclude by highlighting how OCs support engaging in this way because they structure ways to engage in shared experiences and activities at distance. And second, OCs make it easier to find opportunities to actively engage by using a system to identify the opportune moments and facilitate these interactions. We hope our work contributes to a vision for the future in which we can easily engage in new shared experiences at distance, instead of just scrolling through each other's individual lives and experiences. Thank you.